house here at Costco Acres. We moved the front porch steps. We have to remove the uh, sprinkler, old sprinkler lines. We are walking on in. As you can see, the dogs have made themselves at home. This is our new front door keypad. You walk in. So this is our living room and it's going to be divided by like craftsman like columns to our dining room we just got these patio doors installed this will eventually be a deck then a sunroom then right after our dining room you go to our kitchen so it's completely open from one end to the house to the other but right off the door come on cupcake Right off the door, we have our pocket office. Right here. And imagine, this is gonna be a wall of um, built-in desks, built-ins, and then uppers. And that's where our headquarters will be. And then, as you can see, we have shiplap. And this is going to be shiplapped all the way around. It's really cool. There's like shiplap ceilings here and there's speedboard ceilings. This is propping up the second floor. So if you ever want to renovate, just so you know, there's always something fun, but we have lots of natural light. We have a set of windows here. We're going to have another set of windows here in our patio doors. And we just added this window. So we added these two things and there used to be a window here and we're moving it here and it opens up to a gorgeous cornfield. So those are our neighbors. You walk through our living room into our dining room. Um, try not to step on things. To your left, we have a hallway. This is an original door to the house, which is way cool. You are gonna walk, um, this is awesome laminate floors. You're gonna walk into our guest room with beautiful pine floors. These are pine floors. And you have our guest room. Back here is gonna be a Murphy wall. There's gonna be a secret door situation here that goes into a massive closet. And we found all of these amazing antique doors. We're gonna refinish them, but for the time being, they're gonna have to make do. But we have these awesome doorknobs we found on Wayfair. And here is our massive closet. There is a switch, hold on. Switch. Massive closet right in here. And then our guest bathroom. Right here, there's Nadia. Guest bathroom, Tim laid these awesome vinyl floors. This used to be a shower. There used to be a bathtub here that was a lot smaller. Then there was a toilet. Then there was a weird built-in thing right there. But we turned it into a water closet. And this is going to be the vanity with vessel sinks. There's still feet that we have to put on it. This is the original shiplap. And more original shiplap. And all of that you'll see is actually like old newspapers from back in the day. And the floor had these really amazing old, old, old like tin tiles, but we ripped them up. We have a window. So we're gonna go upstairs. So you go upstairs, it's original. Then this fun little moment. Look at that, it's a little, you'd have a phone there and you'd sit there and talk on the phone. So we are going to refinish that eventually one day. List of 10,000 things to do. And um, here are the steps, meeting upstairs. We will be refinishing the steps. Then here's the landing. The landing is super cool because this used to be one big bedroom. And then you have all this space. My favorite part of up here is there are built-ins there. We're gonna do a built-in bench, like it, make it a deep bench. 
So that could be a reading nook. We're gonna build a bookcase and desks here so the kids can kind of lounge and read books while looking out the window and have their own little desk space. Because in relation to traditional rooms, the rooms are gonna be a little more unique. <laughs> this is Nadia's room up here. We're doing a lot of rerunning ducts. And this dormer is actually sinking, so we're raising it, making sure everything's all good. So this is going to be a built-in full-size bed, and it's honestly just perfect. We're gonna have built-in bookshelves right here. Along that wall is going to be um, a built-in wardrobe. So this is Nadia's room. And in here is her secret room that will be drywalled and all that good stuff. Um, watch out for this board right here, baby. Um, in here, I'm gonna take it from here, is Leo's room. He has a nice little hallway to get to his room with beautiful windows. This is it right here. We're gonna put his bed crib situation over there. And then same thing with his room. We're gonna do built in a built in wardrobe. We didn't really have space for closets. So we're just getting creative because it is an old home new built in wardrobes. Then we're gonna walk down this hallway and show you the little space up close. Oh, look how cute. There's a little bench. We're gonna have a little chandelier that's gonna come down and the kids can, it'll operate on its own. So if they wanna read late at night and have a little ambiance, they can turn the switch and just watch and enjoy a view from outside. Right now it's a view of our pods. <laughs> so we're gonna show you the bathroom because it's an amazing bathroom. It literally has the best view in the entire house and it's massive. <laughs> so, this actually was a very small bathroom. We extended it four feet. Um, and in that four feet, it captured so much space. Um, so before the tub was flipped, instead of it being this way, it was in the opposite way. And then there was a toilet and there's a weird step up. So you had to step up, use the toilet and the, bat and the tub. And it, there was a very small vanity here. But now the kids have a ridiculous amount of space. This is a big tub, and then there's a water closet. But what is the most amazing part of this whole situation, can hold on, honey, is you can go on the roof. Be careful, please. I don't know. Um, you can come on the roof? I'm not coming on the roof. Oh, come on. So we wanted oh, roof access. Nice. Our awesome contractor kind of shared about the idea, and we were like, that's brilliant. Can I take the phone in? So hold on just a second. So we decided it would be super fun for us to have access so we can show this is a low pitch roof and literally the best views so i'll let nani take it and show the views be careful where you're walking i know where i'm going nani? watch where you're going cold out here. <laughs> so this little section is going to be an open linen closet. So I'll show you right here. Um, this is duct work. So to hide the duct work, we're doing a built-in bench, which is going to be perfect because the kids can step on the bench to get out on the roof and it's going to run the entire span on that wall. So we're gonna do some built like shelving right here and just have it open, which will be a little different and unique. And it's a kid's bathroom. So, you know, this is the original siding. This is another secret room that we will be creating. You're making another secret room? <laughs> um, spoiler. We are going to be refinishing the floors up here, but we have to, um, Pick some stuff. Who's that secret room for? It's a surprise. 
No. For both of you, Philly. It's the kids are super excited about secret rooms. I am. So you come back downstairs. Look at this gorgeous view. Oh my gosh. Then you come to Dad. the kitchen. Yes. Yeah. So we have the lowers. Oh. <laughs> Here are the lowers. The kitchen used to run this way. Um, so we walled that off. There used to be a door here that went into the carport, which the laundry was laundry room was in, but it was disgusting, so we had to go. So we just wrapped the entire kitchen around. And we still, like, there's the dishwasher's gonna go here and then another cabinet. And then we're gonna run uppers along the back. And there's gonna be an island. It used to be mapped out somewhere along here. Again, we have cool pine floors. The whole family is here. So you walk back here. This used to be a breakfast room, if you can imagine it. It was just an open room, and there was a door that led to that bathroom. The guest bathroom is on the other side. So it's now, can you turn on the light, Nanny? Huh? Can you turn on the light? Which switch? Just choose one. <laughs> now the powder room. So it's a decent sized powder room. You walk down here. This is the pantry. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, now I'm super excited. So we're gonna do built-ins. Yay. Built-ins, and then there's gonna be a fridge here. Right over here in the corner. We're gonna do open shelving across the top. And like, either shiplap or beadboard. We haven't decided yet. Um, but I wanna show you. So, this used to be the back door. And this led outside to a carport. There was like a little mini deck and it went outside to a carport. This door is gonna go away and this is just now gonna be a hallway. And it leads into, this section here is our mudroom. It's gonna be amazing. And we have five foot double doors that will lead into our master. And let's come down here. And so, Another view of our mudroom. I love that door. It's an antique door. We have an antique knob. We're gonna actually get a skeleton key to go into it, and it's super exciting. So right behind that, can you close the door, baby? Huh? Which one? Oh, puppies inside. Come on. Cookie, copy. Cookie. Okay. So right where Nani is standing, obviously that's all gonna be fixed. We're going to have a built-in mud bench. And so this is a generous-sized room but you could see this used to be the roof of the little carport <laughs> area and so now you have a laundry room and along that back wall right here is going to be some lower cabinets and this is plumbed for a sink and we're going to have a stackable washer and dryer and it's a pretty big laundry room i used to have a really tiny laundry room and then we cannot live without a tankless hot water heater. So we're trying to figure out how to make that pretty one day. We don't know yet. So next you walk into our master bedroom, which is a pretty good size. And um, we are gonna be adding some transom windows up here to bring more light into the house. And eventually on this wall, we're gonna do an electric fireplace and make it look nice. And then if you turn, you have two doors. One door is the master bathroom. The other door is the master closet. I'll take you to the closet first. I feel like I'm doing a home tour for a client. <laughs> so we have a very spacious closet. So initially, these rooms are gonna be a little different. We actually moved in the walls 18 inches to gather more space in the closet, the bathroom, and the laundry room, and it has made so much of a difference. And so here's our master bedroom, bathroom. Again, awesome antique doors. You first walk in, there's going to be a freestanding tub right here, nice frosted privacy glass. Then along this, back wall is a dual vanity right here. Dual vanity. 
And then this is our shower. But again, there used to be a door right here. And this was the gross car port area where the laundry room used to be. So we wanted to keep all the water lines in the area. So we kept them in the same place. So you used to be able to walk down steps down here. But we walled that off. So there's a dual vanity, a shower, and a water closet. Pardon our antique doors. <laughs> water closet. And then, um, shoot. Sorry, it's a construction zone. In this little section right here, we're gonna do built-ins for a linen closet. So just imagine all of that. So that's it, guys. That is a tour of our house. Look at all of our awesome doors and our awesome view of the land. And check out Tim's commute. All of two seconds, right there. He's getting ready for his next build. I thought he was squishy. Hope you enjoyed it.